What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pyrostasis here, and this is a game that showed up on Steam yesterday, it's called Realm of the Dead God, I think it is, and it's, uh, it's a very interesting game. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, that, that looks like shit, I don't think I'm going to be playing that, but uh, it was free, and a buddy said that he tried it, and it, it looked interesting, and it's free, so I didn't really mind giving it a shot. Now, this is an interesting game. The more I read about it, the more interested I got. For those of you who watch my channel regularly, you know that I'm kind of... I like challenges. I like hardcore games. Um, I love Dark Souls. I love Minecraft on Hardcore Survival. I enjoy a challenge. And this game is kind of catered around that. Um, first off, the whole basis of the game is permadeath. If you die, that tune is gone, and you have to start a new tune. However, the longer that you're alive, the more fame you acquire, which is this little uh, orange arrow or chevron or whatever you want to call it in the upper right hand corner. I don't know what that number is in the upper left hand corner. I think that's characters maybe? I'm not sure yet. I've only been playing the game for about two days. So this is the default character you start with. This is the wizard and as you can see I shoot little, well you may have a hard time seeing it. I'll go stand over here in the water. You shoot little laser beams out and then you have an ultimate ability. Uh, if you'll notice down here in the bottom, I've got mana. I've got 312 mana. Well, that little sparkle thing that just shot out, that is my uh, spell, which is this item right here, the flame burst spell. Now, all of this is equipment, and all this equipment can be upgraded, and then these are your potion and quick slots, and you can use those to purchase items and such. Now, we're here in the Nexus. The Nexus is kind of like the central town area. Um, when you first get into the Nexus, and, and what I, I want to show you one thing real quick, this is the wrench. The first key you want to set up immediately upon starting to play this game, if I can find it, oh, what the hell, hotkeys, there we go. Escape to Nexus. I have it on tilde. Tilde is the key to the left of the number one on your keypad. You need to have this thing sec selected. Nexus teleports instantly moves you to the Nexus. And obviously in a permadeath game, if you get overwhelmed, you need to be able to GTFO ASAP. So as you can see right here, I'm running along, bam, I hit it, boom, I'm loading and I'm back in the Nexus. And you can do that anywhere. You can do that anywhere in the game. Now once you're in the Nexus, you're gonna to wanna to come over here. And right now it's gonna cost me a thousand gold to change. I think it's 10 bucks. But when you first make your character, you've got like a random tool of a name. It's like beer, 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 beer. Well, you can change that by coming over to this NPC and you get the first name change free. This is your guild hall, which you can't do until you have fame or you join a guild. And then right here is the vault. Now, I don't quite know how the vault works. Um, I do know you've got a series of chests, and I believe this allows you to store items that won't disappear on death. So if you get a nice item, you want to keep it, you come in here and put it here. I'm not 100% sure if it lasts upon death, but it makes sense that it would. So this is where you're going to want to go to store your items. And then obviously you can either teleport back to the Nexus, or you can hit your hotkey and boom. You teleport back. Now, um, these are all the cash shop items here that you can buy. They've got health potions, they've got pets, they've got keys that do stuff that I don't even know what it is. And then out here you've got the main area. Now, when I first came here, I thought this was the level ranges on these, but no, these are basically different servers uh, where you can go in PvP. And there's a maximum of, or not PvP, uh, PvE. There's a maximum of 85 people per one of these blocks. Well, usually in most games, you're going to want to go to the place that has absolutely no people in it. So, you know, I'd want to go over here to Beholder, where there's only 22 people. Well, this Death God game works kind of differently. You, It's a completely cooperative game, and you automatically play with everyone around you. So you're going to notice in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a bunch of names. Those are people that are in my group, so to speak, and the groups automatically happen by themselves. So we're going to go ahead and go into Cyclops here. And as you can see, I pop out here, and I've got all of these people here in my group, and they're all the friendly little yellow dots here on the map. Now, I'm going to have a quest down here. This is to kill the Grand Sphinx. So you can actually... Whoops, I misclicked. Let me get back there real fast. Uh, we were in this one, I think. Uh, okay, I don't have a quest marker here. There it is. All right, so I've got a quest marker. I'm going to click on this dude, click here, teleport, and now I'm down here really close to my quest. Now, you can see I got EXP even though I was only there for a couple seconds. Well, the reason why is everybody shares EXP. If you are near somebody, you share EXP with them, and it, it doesn't actually steal EXP. So if the mob's worth 100 EXP, everybody around you is going to get 100 EXP. If it's worth 200 EXP, everybody gets 200, etc., etc. 
Now the goal is to go and complete these quests, and these quests are going to give you massive amounts of experience, and uh, they have an, uh, the chance of dropping items and such. Now purple potions are mana potions, red potions obviously are health potions, it's very similar to Diablo. And the nice thing about this game is it's very old school shooter-like. If you're kind of like me and you grew up, you know, in the 90s, etc., etc., and you enjoyed playing, you know, those old school um, shooter games, you know, I, f I forget, I think it was one that was like 1942, it was like a bomber game, and like, I remember playing Astro Warrior in the original Sega Master System, I don't know if anybody even knows what the hell I'm talking about, this was before the Sega Genesis, way back in the day, it was one of the first, if not the first system, so that, that was, that was what I kind of grew up on. So I really like these games where you dodge stuff around and, and whatnot. So they're, they're a lot of fun. Now, the cool thing about this game uh, is you play with 85 other people at a time, give or take. It's not, you know, always 85 people. But you play with a shit ton of folks. And as people complete these quests, everybody starts progressing towards fighting the one of the gods. And when you go and fight the gods, I mean, you got like 85 fucking people with you fighting this god. And... You know, at first it's like, wow, that, that's a lot of fucking people, but it's still challenging because they have a million fucking health, and you only hit for like 30 at a time, and if it's got 42,000 health, that's a lot of, of, of challenge. Well, each each of the maps and such, like this water here will snare you, there's slowing effects, there's, you know, there's a lot of different um, abilities and such that go on, and plus, you know, you can upgrade your character. There's a ton of different classes. Now, when you first start the game, you can only play... A, a wizard, which is what I've got right now. So this is my only option to play at the moment. Now later on, as I, uh, I've already unlocked, I think, the warrior class. So the longer I play and the more fame I get, the more classes and such that I unlock and the more, you know, when I die, I can make a new character. So there's also soulbound items, which I don't really understand yet. Like I said, I've only been playing for about two days. Uh, the soulbound items, apparently, when you die, they don't drop. Everything else dies or drops when you die. So if you die, it's all gone. It's it's just, whoa! Holy shit, that hit hard. Whoa! Damn. No! Don't kill Pyro! Pyro is your friend! Maybe not. Maybe not your friend, but, you know, hopefully you're too stupid to realize that. Oh my god. Now you can see the little red dots that are all over the screen. That is monsters. So, you know, when you come into it, Plus 228 EXP, hells yeah, awk, awk. I don't know what these little things are, but they seem to show up whenever I kill a boss. Now I just popped some mana potions, fuck. Oh god. Okay, that guy's friendly. That's the other thing that kind of sucks about the game. Uh, it's hard to tell the difference between friend or foe sometimes. Because you can't really see, everybody looks, you know, 8-bit and shit. I was hoping this was going to be the boss, but not yet. All right, we're going to keep going down south. I want to try and see if I can show you guys one of the boss fights. Give me just a second to get to it. Uh, five. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Popping a health pot. Good Lord. Really need some mana now. Really need some mana. Holy shit. Now, when you first start off, you know, you're hanging out on the beach, the mobs are real easy, they're like one-shot kills, there's, there's no challenge, hardly at all, and then once you get further and further inside, things start getting rather ridiculous. You know, you start fighting, like, ooh, flame burst 45 to 80? Oh, I already got that one. Shit. As you get further in, you start noticing more and more and more monsters, and like, just, they're harder to kill. And it starts getting ridiculous, and then more ridiculous, and eventually you get to the point where, like, you're fighting hordes and hordes of monsters. They shoot all sorts of magical abilities and such, and it just gets rather ridiculous. I'm going to teleport down to this guy. Okay. Apparently I went so far down, either my guy got killed, or either the boss already got killed, or something. Let's go ahead and take that hill pot. But we've got a new boss. Oh, hello, big fat man. Now, very similar to Diablo, when you die, uh, or not when you die, when you level up, you get full health and mana back. So if you can, you know, daisy chain your levels, you can do really, really well. Um, the further away from the beaches you get, and further out here in the middle of nowhere, etc., etc., holy shit! 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. As you can see, this is a ton of fucking mobs. And they start hitting really hard. Now thankfully, my mad dodging skills are good. So I don't get pasted. Oh wow, what the hell is that? But every single one of those little dots will hit me and hurt me. And as you can see, I'm pounding away at some of these guys. And it just really isn't doing a whole lot of damage. <laughs> they're, they're just sitting there tanking it. They're like, bitch, I don't care. I don't even care. Alright, pop in the mana pot. Alright. Bet you care now, don't you? Yeah, you care now. Pop another heal pot. Uh, shit. Book. Now this is why you want to have that hotkey that I was telling you guys about right off the bat. Because that hotkey allows you to GTFO when shit gets bad. Now GTFO, for those of you who may not know, means get the fuck out. Alright, what is this purple... I'm going to go ahead and clip that. Now, purple bags, I believe, are completely yours. Everything else is shared. So, like, I'm sharing all these little brown bags with everybody else. Anybody can loot these. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. He's snaring me. Holy shit. Um, but the, the blue bags are so... They're, they're, like, for you only. So some of the mobs will drop these special bags. Now, one other thing I haven't covered yet, uh, mainly because I don't know a whole lot about it, is stat potions. Apparently, there are potions that you can get that will permanently increase your stats. If you look over uh, below my health on the right, over here, you're going to see I've got attack, I've got speed, bite, dex, etc, etc. These abilities um, can be increased by these stat potions. So once you get these stat potions, you know, you can drastically increase your character. Level 20 is the max limit. Now you'll notice that now that I've moved over... Ah! Fuck! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Pyro's a lover! And a fighter, apparently, but that doesn't mean you should kill me. Um, now that I've now that I've hit 20, which is the max limit, uh, the only really character progression at this point is stats and fame. Now you get fame from killing monsters and surviving longer. You know, the more you survive, the longer. Fuck. Okay, keeping an eye out. Damn. The longer you survive, the more fame you get. Uh, the more monsters you kill. Like, the more bosses and such, apparently, the more fame you get. You know, it just kind of makes sense. You know, the, the badder ass you are and the more shit you do, the more people are going to know about you and be like, oh, damn, he's awesome. Well, very similar in this fame system. Now, I'm trying to get to show you guys one of the god fights. I've only done one of them so far. It was, like, last night about 4 o'clock in the morning, um, and it was, it was rather fucking epic. I mean, just absolutely insane. It was, like, fighting with 80-some-odd other people, it was just absolutely badass, and I really would like to show you guys that again, uh, if, if I can get there. Now, the god fights, you usually, I don't know what triggers it, um, oh my god. Hello guys, hello, hello. Oh balls, may have to use my escape here in a minute. Oh balls. There we go, killed him, killed him, what is that? Necromancer. That is badass looking. Now, um, you do have gear. All these little bags I'm picking up, you're going to notice I'm not picking up a lot of the gear. Reason why, I only have eight inventory slots. And quite honestly, um, you know, if I'm not the class, it, it doesn't at the moment really serve me a lot of good to pick up other classes' stuff. Because I don't know what my class will be uh, next time I re-roll. I know I've, I think I've unlocked the warrior, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, I think this is going to be getting awfully close to the next little spot. Well, maybe not. thought we were. Um, now, you're also going to notice every time you level uh, and you hit like 20 or when, when you hit one of these new milestones, it shows in the whole general chat window in the bottom right. So everybody kind of tracks, you know, who's what. There's also a leaderboard. So uh, there's a weekly, month, or weekly, daily, and I believe monthly leaderboard that kind of shows how everyone's doing. So you can kind of track yourself uh, fame-wise, you know, see who's... Holy shit, that is awesome looking. Oh god, those are lasers. Hopefully they don't hurt... I'm out. I'm out of here. Fuck that shit. I don't even know what that does. So anyways, um, you know, you come back here, you've got... Like this one here is plus five defense. Uh, that's plus five speed. I'm going to take the defense because that'll make me, you know, it's going to take me up to nine defense and make me last a little bit longer. Now I'm going to go ahead and come in here into the vault and I'm going to save this. So we're going to go ahead and put this down here and bada boom, bada bing.
Now there are a ton of servers uh, on here. There's a ton of boss fights, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's even whoa! I think I broke it. There we go. There's a ton of nice little um, side dungeons you can do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, I'll try. Oh, excuse me. I'll try over the next couple days to get another boss fight on camera so you guys can see what it's like to fight with like imagine all of these people fighting one boss. You know, it's a, it's kind of like raiding and wow except without the concentration it's just mad dodging and spamming. I mean, it is really fucking ridiculous looking. So I'm going to try and get you a clip of that over the next couple days. Let me know what you guys think about this game. You know, is this something that you guys think is cool? Is this something like, meh, it's, you know, it's a fucking 8-bit game. I don't care. It's boring. Let's get back to other stuff. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you'd like to see some more stuff. Um, I'll try and get some more stuff uploaded over the next couple days. I'm going to try and get, uh, what is it, Skyrim and whatnot recorded now before the stream. So, anyways, hope to see you guys down the stream. That's uh, twitch.tv forward slash pyrostasis. We'll be starting at 6 p.m. Central. Um, make sure you click that like button if you're liking this. As always, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.